today i am going to discuss another important topic from environment that is noise pollution sources impact and mitigation myself dr indrajit roy choudhury assistant professor department of geography and applied geography university of north bengal now what is noise pollution now the word noise is basically derived from the latin word nausea which means sickness in which one feel the need to vomit that means when there is a situation is being coming up in your health that something is not being good or something not being happening to you which is which is impacted on your health that is basically the disbalanced situation in your health now regarding the noise pollution when a obviously we have a capacity to hear the sound with our ear okay so the main important thing regarding the noise pollution that means the sound which we are trying to able to get through our ear obviously when the level of the noise is too high then it talks about the pollution <clears throat> so noise is the unpleasant and undesirable sound which leads to discomfort in the human beings now intensity of sound is measured by in the noise pollution noise basically it is measured by the decibel which is being denoted by small d and capital b decibel so the faintest sound that a human ear can hear only up to 1 decibel 1 decibel up to 1 decibel we able to hear the sound but more than 1 decibel definitely that can be the pollution and as well as the civilization is being increasing the urbanization is been increasing so that is basically responsible for the noise pollution so if i am talking about the more number of vehicles on the road the honking the horn aircraft industrial machineries then the firecrackers everything are been responsible for the noise pollution okay so this is the main concept or the definition of the noise pollution coming to what are the different types of noise pollution first is the transport noise so it mainly consists of traffic noise which has increased in recent years with the increase in the number of vehicles so more number of vehicles more honking the more honking situation is going on so more noise is being coming up so the increase in noise pollution leads to the defaming of the older people the old age people <coughs> as well as it is responsible for the headache and hypertension second type of noise pollution that is called the neighborhood noise so the noise from gadgets household utensils etc from that is also been the sources for the noise pollution even if we are using using the musical instrument we are using the sound box we are using the transistor we are using the loud speaker that is also responsible for the noise pollution another type of sources that is called the industrial noise obviously high intensity sound which are been coming from the industries machineries <coughs> that is also responsible for the noise pollution so according to many research a lot of work have already been done on the noise pollution so industrial noise pollution are mainly the responsible fact or the facets for the uh, particular industry is the main sources for the noise pollution and it is almost 20% of the issues are being coming from the industrial noise pollution now what are the causes and sources of noise pollution first of all obviously there are several causes and sources of noise pollution <coughs> number one the industrialization it has led to an increase in noise pollution as the use of heavy machineries such as generator mills huge exhaust fan are being used resulting in the production of unwanted noises even the vehicles the vehicles which are being plying on the city roads that is also responsible for the noise pollution so this is the second reason for noise pollution even the events like the election is going on so rallies events or meeting all this situation is going on the road so even the wedding ceremony or the social or even kind of cultural program any kind of gathering public use the loud speaker so that loud speaker also playing the music and the sound so that is also responsible for the noise pollution next is the construction sites mining construction of building that is also adding the noise pollution if i am talking about the noise pollution example obviously there are some of the examples of noise pollution first of all the unnecessary usage of horns in the roads next is the using loud speaker either for the religious functions or for the political purposes unnecessary uses of the fireworks even 
during festival time whenever we are using the firecrackers that is also responsible for the noise pollution those people who are living in the city area we we are experiencing this kind of noise pollution next is the industrial noise construction noise even the noise from the transportation such as the railway and the aircraft now what are the effects of noise pollution on human health noise pollution can be a hazardous on the human health in the following ways <coughs> first of all the hypertension hearing loss sleeping disorder cardiovascular diseases these are the issues encompasses with the noise pollution so hype if i am talking about the hypertension now it is a direct result of noise pollution which is caused due to elevated blood levels for a longer duration hearing loss that is also responsible due to the noise pollution the constant constant exposure of human ears to loud noise that are beyond the range of sound that human ears can withstand damages <coughs> the ear drums resulting in loss of hearing so that is the issue when we are talking about a children like 0 to 5 years of age they are mostly affected by this kind of hearing loss because they have a problem of this noise because those people are living in the urban areas most of the time they are experiencing with this noise pollution sleeping disorder lack of sleep might result in fatigue and low energy levels throughout the day affecting everyday activities noise pollution hampers the sleep cycle leading to irritation as well as the uncomfortable state of mind even if i am talking about the cardiovascular issues heart related problems such as blood pressure level stress cardiovascular diseases it also may, might come due to the noise pollution and even if i am talking about the individual person who are suffering from any kind of diseases that is also a certain issues of the noise pollution now what are the preventions what are the mitigations or measure that we are taking for controlling the noise pollution so <coughs> first of all honking in public places like teaching institutions school college universities even the hospitals which are called as a silence zone so that area we should stop or banning the noise pollution because we are not being honking the sound second in commercial places even in the hospital areas and the industrial buildings adequate soundproof system should be installed so that the outer sound should not be entering into the a building as we know that most of the hospitals is located near the main road and this noise pollution cannot be controlled because vehicles are flying on the roads so automatically it comes huge amount of sound so we should be able to construct a soundproof system of a building the wall so that the outer sound may not be come into the inner part of the room next is the musical instrument sound should be controlled to the desirable limit that means the limit up to we listen <coughs> dense tree cover is very much useful in the noise pollution prevention next one is the explosive should not be used in the forest even mountains and even the mining areas if i am talking about the categories of the areas where the noise limit is being maintained by the cpcb which is called as a central pollution control board so these are the four categories of areas first of all the industries areas commercial area residential area and the silence zone now under the categories of the industrial area in the day time because we are measuring it is in the decibel db so in the day time the limit of the sound that should be 75 decibel but in the night time that should be reduced because it is a sleeping time so that should be 70 decibel in the commercial area the limit of the sound or the decibel that is in 65 decibel in the day time but if i am talking about the night time it should be 55 decibel <coughs> regarding the residential area 55 decibel we should be maintained during day time 45 decibel we should maintain in the night time if i am talking about the silence zone in the day time it should be 50 but in the night time it should be 40 what should the day time is being considered by the central pollution control board the time duration from 6 am in the morning to 10 pm in the night and the night time should be considered obviously after that 10 pm to 6 am in the morning what would be the silence zone silence zone is defined as the area up to 100 meters around <coughs> such premises as hospitals education institution and courts too the silence zone are to be declared by the competent authority use of vehicular horns loud speaker and bursting of crackers shall be banned in these zones mixed categories of area should be declared as one of the four above mentioned categories by the competent authority and the corresponding standard shall apply coming to the noise prevention act obviously just like a uh, air pollution we should also follow some of the act 
first act should be that is article 51a what is that what is the main objective of this article 51a just to protect and improve the natural environment including forest lakes rivers and wildlife and to have compulsion for living creatures next act should be encompassed that is called the article 48a what would be the main objective of this article 48a protection and improvement of environment and safeguarding and wildlife the state shall endeavor to protect and improve the environment and to safeguard the forest and wildlife of the country even we are also talking about the criminal procedure and code and the noise control provision under the section 133 of the criminal procedure code in 1973 the magistrate has the power to make the conditional order requiring the person causing nuisance including that of noise to remove the nuisance even the railway act 1880 that is also very crucial uh, particular way to control the noise it is very surprising to that the railway engines and the carriage are the big sources of noise even india railway locomotive enjoy statutory protection under the indian than railway at 90, 1890 so this kind of act should be incorporated to control the noise next is the aircraft act 1934 that is also impact of the civil aviation on the environment is evident in the rising public concern regarding noise which is most irritating and the most responsible element for the increasing noise level from aircraft and finally motor vehicle act and noise control very importantly motor vehicle act 1939 under section 20 21 41 68 68 681 70 and 91 uh, that can be the empowered in the state government not only that that rule should be incorporated to maintain the motor vehicles and the trailers. So these are the some of the noise prevention act which can be incorporated to control the noise. So that is the overall discussion of the noise. So what we are discussed, definition of noise, then the types of noise, what are the sources of noise, impact of noise and how to mitigate the noise pollution. So this topic and this is a burning topic which are definitely going to thrust in the environmental studies. So thank you, thank you very much.